Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another quick video. Today, I'm back out here at this car lot, taking a look at this 2010 Lexus RX350. Now the shop just recently replaced all four TPMS or tire pressure monitor sensors on this vehicle uh, because of course, you know, the original sensors, the batteries in them only last somewhere between six to eight years. And so these were long overdue. Like I said, they went ahead and replaced all four of them. They are installed on the vehicle, but they have not been programmed yet. So I figured this was an opportune time for me to come in and uh, show you guys a new tool that I just acquired. This here is the Launch CRT5011E. This is a TPMS or tire pressure monitor system uh, programming device. And so this device not only allows you to program its own proprietary sensors, but it also allows you to program OEM sensors into the car's computer. Now, if you guys don't know the difference between purchasing OEM TPMS sensors versus purchasing aftermarket universal ones, well, the main difference is that whenever you buy an OEM sensor, it generally comes pre-programmed with its own built-in ID number. So what you need is a machine like this that allows you to program the new ID from the new sensor into the car's computer. Now, when you buy an aftermarket TPMS sensor, they generally do not come pre-programmed which means uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the old sensor that was in the vehicle already, copy the ID from that sensor and write it into the new aftermarket sensor. What this allows you to do is clone the old sensor to the new aftermarket one. And so this allows you to trick the computer that's on the car to think that the sensor that's on the tire is the same sensor that was there before. So this allows you to get away without having to do any actual programming onto the car's computer. So again, OEM sensors come pre-programmed with their own ID. And what you need is a tool like this to write that ID into the computer in the car. And aftermarket sensors are designed for you to be able to clone the old sensor. And that allows you to trick the computer to think that the sensor has not been changed. I know I sound kind of repetitive, but hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, like I said, uh, the shop replaced all four sensors with OEM design sensors. So what we're gonna do is we're going to read the IDs using this device here, and then we're going to write those IDs into the car's computer. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, and I'm gonna show you some other features that this thing has that are actually really cool. So let's get started. All right, guys, so like I said, the shop already went ahead and replaced all four TPMS sensors. You can see uh, the new valve stems that they have on here. And like I said, they did replace them with OEM factory ones. So we're gonna go ahead and do some programming. Let me move inside the vehicle and show you the tool. So here is the launch CRT5011E. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this uh, plug to the OBD2 port, which is located down here. Put this in there, there we go. And so now we're connected. Let's go ahead and power up the device. There's a power button right here. I'll just hold it for a couple seconds let the device boot up all right so here we are at the home menu now if you guys take a look you can see that we do have uh, several different functions that this tool does provide you uh, first of all if we click here this is going to take us into the uh, tpms menu where we can uh, choose our vehicle make and model year and then decide what we want to do we're going to get to that in a second but let me back out and show you a couple of the other features that this thing has so if we move over here we can uh, go to a check sensor mode where we can basically point the top of this device uh, to any sensor in a tire and uh, we can push this little button right here and that allows us to gather some information uh, such as the chip id the pressure the temperature voltage uh, serial number stuff like that this is really really useful uh, you know and quick and easy for if you guys just want to pull some information from a tpms sensor uh, but if we back out we can go over here now this is a really cool feature that they have this allows you to read key fob signals so you can see here it says please press the car key and this is going to detect whether or not your key fob is working okay so i've got the key fob here for the lexus let me take you guys down over to the tool and we're going to put this near the top of the tool and i'm going to hit the unlock button and you guys can see it does show that our signal is working and so that tells us that this is outputting a signal i'm going to hit it again you can see that it's picking up that signal so that is very useful if you guys are wondering whether or not your key fob is the problem whenever let's say your vehicle won't start uh, so that is another feature that this thing has now if we scroll down here the other cool feature is that this thing is also an obd2 scan tool so if we go into this right here uh, let me turn the ignition on 
Okay, so I turned the ignition on. Let me take you guys down over to the tool here. And uh, you can see that it's showing us that we don't have any DTC stored and the mill is off, which is the uh, malfunction indicator lamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And this is a full OBD2 uh, global scan tool. So we can come in here, we can read codes, we can erase codes. We can check for I am readiness, you know, in case you guys are trying to uh, check and see whether or not a vehicle can pass state inspection. Uh, now, if we come down here, this is really cool. We have data stream. We can come in here and actually pull live data from the computer. And so we can view all different items here. Take a look at this. We've got uh, coolant temperature. We've got short term fuel trim, uh, fuel status. Of course, the vehicle's not running at the moment. So, uh, you know, it's not showing any real numbers here. But of course, this is a very useful feature to have, you know, especially if you're doing some programming or tire relearn and you see that the check engine light is on and you just want to check it while you're at it. This is a really cool feature to have. So let's back out of this menu and uh, let's go ahead and go into the tire pressure monitor uh, registry. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to select Lexus. This is an RX 350 RX series. And like I said, this is a 2010. So we're going to choose the top one, which is 06 to 2013. Click OK. And now once we're in the menu, you can see that we have a lot of different things that we can do. First of all, we can check the sensor, uh, which allows us to just uh, basically go up to any sensor on a tire. So let me go ahead and disconnect this OBD2 port right here. And uh, we'll take this tool, click check sensor. And it's telling us here to start by checking the left front tire. So I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the left front tire. And basically we're just going to put this right above the sensor and we're gonna hit the trigger button. And you can see it picked up the information here. It's given us an ID number, 54D63B7. It's telling us the uh, tire pressure and the tire temperature. So really quick, easy way for you to check all four sensors and get all four of those IDs. Uh, but let me show you some other features that this thing has. So if we scroll down, you can see that we can program the sensor. Uh, if we scroll down here, it gives us a relearn procedure. So we can click on this and it gives us uh, information specific to the vehicle for how to do a relearn procedure. Uh, so if we back out, let's hit OK. Uh, we can go down to relearn. So there's several different ways we can do a relearn depending on how you want to do this. Uh, TPMS OBD2 and the OE sensor info, which is actually really cool because uh, let's say you've got some OEM sensors and you're not sure if they're the correct ones. Well, you can click on here and it actually gives you the information, the original part number uh, for the sensor and the sensor number that you're going to see printed on the sensor itself. So this allowed me to verify whether or not the sensors that they put in these tires are the original equipment ones for this specific vehicle. That's a really cool feature to have. So let's back out here and uh, let's go ahead and move up to TPMS OBD2. Let me connect the OBD2 cable. All right, so I've got the cable connected. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And you can see here, it gives us the ability to read the ID. So we're gonna hit okay. Bam, take a look at that. They listed all four sensors, the locations and the IDs that are programmed into the computer that's on the vehicle right now, which again, these are the old sensors that they've already taken out of the vehicle. So they've got new sensors on each of the tires. So we're going to have to replace these IDs that are stored in the computer with the new ones from the sensors they just installed in the tires. So let's go ahead and back out. And uh, I guess let's go ahead and start with the uh, TPMS relearn. We're gonna come up here, hit okay, hit okay again. It's telling us to make sure that we're plugged in and we have the ignition on, so I'm gonna hit okay. Now it wants us to go to each wheel and collect the IDs. You guys can see we already collected the one for the front uh, left, but I think we're gonna have to do it again just to verify uh, that we were on the correct position. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this. Let's go over to the front left tire. Put the tool right above the sensor and then we're going to hit the trigger button that's going to be our new id now it wants us to move over to the right front tire so let's walk around the vehicle here over to this tire on this side and then we're going to do the same thing let's go ahead and hit the trigger button you guys can hear it hopefully you can see it but now we have the ids uh, for both the front tires here now it wants us to move to the rear right tire which is right over here so let's walk over this way and once again, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to put it right above the sensor, hit the trigger button. 
and it's picked up the sensor you can see there is our id number our tire pressure 37 psi and even our tire temperature so now last but not least it wants us to do the left rear tire which is back over on the other side so let's walk around and finally we're going to do this tire here i'm going to hit the trigger button and it doesn't look like it picked it up you can see it's showing an x you know what i think it's because i'm supposed to be holding the tool this way my mistake so let me go ahead and flip it around and i'm going to push the trigger button once again and let's see if it works this time there we go you guys heard it beep and so take a look here you can see uh, that we have our last id here uh, you can see this tire over here is a little over inflated uh, 47 psi but it's showing us all the information that we need now these are all four ids for all new sensors so now it's time to write these ids into the computer that's on the vehicle all right guys so moving back inside the vehicle i'm gonna go ahead and connect the obd2 plug there we have it connected as you guys can see we have our id numbers here front left front right uh, rear right rear left so let's go ahead and hit okay communicating please wait Please use TPMS tools to activate the right front tire pressure sensor. Hit OK. The sensor is learning. Now it says use the TPMS tool to activate the right rear tire. Hit OK. The sensor is learning. Now the left rear tire. Hit OK. The sensor is learning. Then the left front tire. Hit OK. The sensor is learning. All right, guys. So there we have it. You can see right sensor ID. There are our new ID numbers listed. Uh, front left, front right, rear right, rear left. Now I did take a picture of the new numbers before I loaded them up. So I know that these are the correct ones. So now that we're done, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And now we can come down here to TPMS OBD2. We can read our IDs and let's compare our new ID numbers to the old ones. There we have it, guys. Programming success. All right, guys. So after taking a quick drive, I mean, I really couldn't go far because there's no seat in this vehicle because the seat is over at the upholstery shop. But Nonetheless, I was able to go around the parking lot here and get up to speed. Um, but anyway, you guys can see that we don't have a TPMS light at the moment. So let me go ahead and shut this off and then turn it back on. You guys can see the TPMS light right there and it went away. That's indicating that we no longer have any trouble codes or any issues with the TPMS system. So that is definitely a fix. All right, guys. So a couple things I want to point out before we end the video off. Uh, for one, like I said, this thing does work with OEM sensors and aftermarket sensors, but the aftermarket sensors that work with this tool are the ones that are from the launch company. So they are proprietary to this tool. You can find the link in the description to where you can buy those sensors. Now, the reason that you can't use this tool with any other aftermarket sensor is because uh, pretty much every aftermarket manufacturer that makes their own sensor makes their own proprietary tool for that sensor. And so what they do is they encrypt their sensors so that they can only be read and programmed by their proprietary tool. Uh, this is how a lot of those companies get you to buy like a bundle deal where if you buy 20 sensors, uh, they'll give you a free uh, programming device. But a lot of times that programming device, all it is is a cloning tool. It's not an actual programming tool. It won't connect to your car's computer and let you uh, install or update OEM sensors. It's only going to allow you to clone their aftermarket replacement sensors. So uh, like I said, because a lot of the other manufacturers on the market encrypt their sensors, you really can't use this to program any of those aftermarket ones. If you're going to use aftermarket sensors, you have to buy the launch ones. You can find the link in the description. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention was that uh, a lot of these tools right now are getting shipped out with the old firmware or the old software. Uh, so when you get the tool and you turn it on, you might find that it's not going to look exactly like mine did. It's not going to have the option for you to check the key fobs. So what you need to do, if that's the case, is plug this into your computer. There's a really easy procedure for you to update it. It's completely free when you buy the tool. Uh, so you can put the latest software in there where, like I said, you get the option to uh, do the key fob and it becomes an OBD2 scan tool. I'm going to try and leave some instructions for updating the tool in the description down below. The other thing I wanted to mention was that I was able to get you guys a pretty good discount code. You can find that in the description below where the Amazon link is. Now the code is only for a limited time. So make sure you take advantage of it because it's a pretty good discount. Anyway, at this point, I'm going to end off the video. Like I always say, I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it informational, educational, entertaining. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.